Carpe Seuss when hunting up in North Texas. This was actually my fourth stop of the night. I managed to get up on my ridge top and I was watching these deer at about 380 yards with my IR Hunter Mark III when I heard noises off to my right. Walked around to the side of the ridge that I was on top of and saw these hogs off in the distance. As there was such a bright moon and so much open field between the hogs and myself, I decided to get out the collar and move my equipment around to the side of the ridge and try calling the hogs. In the past when I've tried calling hogs I've gotten three different reactions. Sometimes they come very fast, sometimes they don't come at all, and sometimes they run away. It takes a few seconds for these hogs to react, but they decide that they do not like the sound and watch what happens. There they go. So at this point I'm fumbling with the remote trying to get the collar turned off. Now it's turned off and they regroup behind some trees. They finally come out later. They're very tentative. If you watch, several of them will be sniffing the air, trying to tell if there are any threats around. Now this is the field where I shot a hog last week and I was worried about the bull. Well, it turns out the bull is not in this pasture. And I also know from last week the approximate distance of these hogs. They're well within my range. But the problem is they're lined up with the cattle behind them. To my benefit, I'm considerably higher in elevation than the hogs. And so I just need to wait for one of the hogs to clear the cattle. I'll be good to go. I'm going to take this big one right here. I shoot and another hog goes down. But as I scan over and catch the original hog, I can see that it's spurting blood out the side as it runs away. And now I readjust my position in hopes of picking up one of the running hogs, assuming one will stop. Then I see the original hog come running in. It falls over, and one last spurt, and it's done. Holy cow, I got two with one shot. The original target turned out to be a 155-pound sow. The shot entered behind the left shoulder and exited further back on the right side, leaving this permanent exit wound. The bonus target was a 130 pound sow and the shot entered just behind the left eye where it punched through the zygomatic arch into the brain case across the brain exiting out the other side and coming to rest underneath the skin behind the ear. What remained of the original Hornady SST 123 grain bullet looked like it came from about a 40 grain 22 long rifle. Optics provided by Third Coast Thermal. I've always said that on hogs, if the shot doesn't do significant damage to the central nervous system, you can't expect the hog to go down right away. And this shot demonstrated both these aspects. Second hog goes down with a shot to the brain. The first hog did not have any central nervous system damage. And so it continues to run away, bleeding out as it goes, absolutely gushing blood the entire time. And you can see how much blood she's losing. At this point, she's run over 100 yards. And then she disappears behind the trees. Then we pick her up again as she's coming back. And she's still losing blood at this point. By the time she finally collapses, she's gone over 140 yards. and gives one final amazing spurt of blood and she's done. <laughs>